Hello, and welcome to your professional development session for the Practice of Statistics 5th edition for the AP Statistics course. My name is Nicole Desiato, and I am the Customer Relations and Events Coordinator for Bedford Freeman & Worth Publishing Group. Please note that my email address is on the screen. I encourage you to write it down in case you have any questions on the Practice of Statistics and its program. Our goals for today are simple. We will start by reviewing this Practice of Statistics Student Edition and taking a look at some of the features and pedagogy within the textbook. After that, we will learn about the additional resources that you have received with your purchase. This includes the Annotated Teachers Edition, the Teacher Resource Flash Drive, and the Book Companion site. While we are looking through these resources, I encourage you to create a plan on how you're going to be using them effectively in your classroom this year. When we're done with that, we will take a look at the resources beyond the textbook, including additional opportunities for professional development with Bedford Freeman & Worth. Before we get started, I would like to introduce the authors of The Practice of Statistics. The Practice of Statistics was written by Darren Starnes and Josh Tabor, both AP Statistics teachers, workshop leaders, question leaders, and table leaders. Because of their involvement with AP, their main goal of the practice of statistics was to maintain a focus on the AP exam. Their secondary goal was to incorporate media into the practice of statistics. There are numerous videos available for both you and your students. There is also a greater emphasis on the learning objectives of the AP statistics course. Each chapter has multiple opportunities for review, including AP style practice questions at the end of every section and chapter. Darren and Josh have also updated the examples, exercises, and activities within the textbook and have tested the pedagogy on their classrooms. We also have preserved the appealing design and readability that the practice of statistics is known for. We'll start by taking a look at the student edition. Each section of the practice of statistics starts with a red box entitled What You Will Learn. These are the learning objectives that you will cover in that section. This is a great checklist for your students and will give them an idea of what they will be studying as they move through the chapter. We also have called out examples within the student edition. We have tried to make these examples as engaging to your students as possible. I would like to focus on the play button in the upper right hand corner of the example. We have provided you with worked example videos that are free for your students. Your students can watch these videos online and learn more about the mathematics within the example. In the Annotated Teachers Edition, we provide you with an alternate example to teach in your classroom. Check Your Understanding is a stop sign for your students. As they're reading through the chapter, they will come across the Check Your Understanding boxes. Your students should read these and answer the questions to make sure that they have understood everything that they've studied in the chapter so far. We provide the answers to the Check Your Understanding boxes in the Annotated Teacher's Edition. The Technology Corner is designed to help your student understand the different types of technology that they will be using on the AP exam. You will again see the Play button next to the Technology Corner. Your students will be able to log on to the Book Companion site and watch the Technology Corner videos that will walk them through how to use their calculators. In the Annotated Teacher's Edition, we provide you with a reminder for your students. There are numerous in-class activities to do with your students in your classroom. We provide you with applets on the Book Companion site. In the Annotated Teacher's Edition, we will provide you with an alternate activity. For example, with this activity, if you do not have a computer, there is a separate activity that you can do that studies the same type of mathematics. At the end of each section, there is a summary, which will provide a checklist for your students on what you, they have learned throughout the section. The Annotated Teacher's Edition calls out that there are three different quizzes available for this section. You can find them on your Teacher's Edition eBook, the Teacher Resource Flash Drive, or on the Book Companion site. There are also end of section exercises to make sure that your students have understood what they have learned. Notice the page 144 and the play button next to question 1 of the section 3.1 exercises. If your students are struggling with this problem, they can flip back to page 144 and look at a worked out example to study the mathematics within the problem. Or they can click the play button and go to the book companion site to watch a video explaining the mathematics on the problem. The what did you learn box will be extremely important as your students prepare to take the AP exam. It will identify the learning objectives that they will have studied within that chapter and shows what section they can find them in. 
It will also show where they can find a related example and chapter review exercises. We provide you with two different types of chapter review problems. Chapter review exercises are not AP style and are just designed to make sure your students have understood what they have learned within that chapter. There is also an AP Statistics practice test at the end of each chapter. The AP Statistics practice test is cumulative, so by the time they have reached the end of Chapter 12, they will be ready to take a full-length AP Statistics practice test. All of your students have access to the Book Companion site, a free online resource. The Book Companion site does not require an access code. Your students will simply need to go to the Book Companion site and register. There, they can look on the Home tab to browse the free and open resources. They can browse by chapter or by category. The Book Companion site has online quizzes, worked example videos, technology corner videos, worked exercise videos, applets, and data sets. There are also some free response AP practice problems that they can review. Here's a quick review of what your students should know. The most important thing is that your students understand how they can get onto the Book Companion site and watch the videos that are available. These videos will provide your students with extra help as they study with the practice of statistics. Now let's take a look at the Annotated Teacher's Edition of the Practice of Statistics. The Annotated Teacher's Edition is a full wraparound of the Student Edition with extra resources in the margins. For each chapter, there are a few pages that will help you set up your lesson. Let's take a look at these now. These pages will start out with the big ideas, which will introduce the chapter and each section. They will also link to a professional development video that is found within the Teacher Resource Flash Drive or the Book Companion site. These give advice from Darren and Josh, and I recommend that you watch them before starting each section or chapter. We also list out the additional teacher resource materials and where they can be found. Another great feature of these pages is the additional free response questions from previous AP exams. We believe that you should be using as many AP style practice questions as you can. We have provided you with a listing of the free response questions from previous AP exams and what content they examine. Finally, we have a pacing guide that outlines the topic, learning objectives, and suggested assignments that you should use in your classroom. When using your Annotated Teacher's Edition, we recommend that you identify the symbols within the textbook, like the play buttons that will lead to the professional development videos. Carefully read through the pre-chapter pages and definitely watch those PD videos for each section. Take advantage of the pacing guide and use the additional free response questions in your classroom. Now let's take a look at the teacher resource materials. The teacher resource materials includes the teacher resource flash drive, book companion site, and exam view test bank. We've been talking about the teacher resource flash drive and the book companion site. This chart outlines where you can find what. Much of the content on the teacher resource flash drive can also be found on the book companion site. If you've not received your flash drive or companion site access, please let us know right away. You'll receive an email giving you access to the book companion site. This email will come from Macmillan Media and will be an automated email. We have found that many times it will go to your spam folder, so if you have not received access, please check there first before contacting us. Once you've created your account, you will have access to the Adopted Resources tab on the book companion site. You'll be able to browse content by chapter and by category. All of the content is available for download. The Book Companion site is a live resource, so it will be constantly updated throughout the course of your adoption. We recommend checking back frequently. The ExamView Test Bank CD has 700 AP style multiple choice questions and step-by-step -step instructions on how to write your own questions. Be able to scramble questions and give out the test in different formats. Now let's take a look at the additional resources available with the practice of statistics. For additional professional development, log on to the Learning Library or the BFW YouTube channel to view videos from Darren Starnes and Josh Tabor. Darren and Josh host live webinars throughout the school year and discuss different topics within AP Statistics. These events will be listed on the Learning Library, so check back frequently to make sure you are up to date. Some of the current available videos are reviewing the results of the 2014 AP exam, where Darren and Josh take a look at common mistakes students made on the free response questions last minute tips for reviewing for the exam within your classroom, making up for lost time in AP statistics, and getting off to a good start with inference. There are many more videos available, so please take a look at both the Learning Library and the YouTube page. Thank you once again for adopting the Practice of Statistics 5th Edition for your AP Statistics classroom.